I just realized that this camera is weird because when I tilt my head to the right, this one shows left. <laughs> okay, very disorienting. But anyway, that's not what uh, today's uh, program is about. Today's program is about what the market has been doing. Nifty, Bank Nifty and uh, the rest of the world analysis. So let's get started. So number one, Nifty. Nifty has formed a bearish uh, piercing pattern on daily uh, charts and Bank Nifty has formed. So we had talked about it yesterday. If you look at yesterday's analysis, we said that there's a possibility of testing 25,300 upside. That was the kind of you know max upside we saw somewhere around here, but it's losing steam even at 25,200. So it's a bearish piercing candle. And this doesn't look nice because obviously it's covering half the yesterday's bullish candle. And if you look at Bank Nifty, Bank Nifty is forming kind of a hanging man. So if tomorrow's close is below today's close in uh, these indices, we can see further bearishness, right? Nifty forming bearish piercing on rejection at around uh, 25 200 levels bank nifty forming bearish uh, sorry hanging man possible hanging man because hanging man of course needs a confirmation now let's look at open interest open interest is very very obvious because today it opened up and it was selling all around so it means a lot of people must have uh, sold everything left right center vivek is saying nifty is 50 dma yes that is a possibility so see people got out of their puts a lot of people added their calls 25 100 is a significant resistance now 25 uh so if you look at it yesterday's option chain looked like this with a prominent support around 25,000. right now there is no prominent support in fact, 25,000 has some support, but 25,100 plus is mega resistance, right? So, lot of put unwinding, well, some put unwinding, lot of call addition, <clears throat> massive resistance. above 25100 no support below 25000 now let's look at pcr <clears throat> 0 0.56 very weak 0 0.58 very weak 0 0.56 around it i mean 0 0.6 no, 0 0.6 is not doing justice to 0 0.56 0 0.58 around ATM and 0 0.56 overall pretty weak <coughs> and let's now go to <coughs> option data so pro sold more today in calls and bought more today in puts so roughly 1 lakh calls sold roughly 1 lakh puts added short 2.6 L almost neutral on uh, <coughs> sorry um, slightly holding puts but lot of call sell so pro short 2.6 l calls and slightly long puts today they sold 1.1 l calls and bought 90k puts right 90k puts or like 89k but the t <coughs> Now, in client, this is interesting. <coughs> client is short calls <coughs> because they bought calls and short puts. So, client short 2.2 L calls and short 7.7 L puts. Futures data. This is where interesting stuff starts happening. <clears throat> if I is adding their 
shorts client is adding logs fi adding shorts and this is important because this thing has worked for the last two three months pretty beautifully so i'll give a lot weight lot of weightage to the futures data client <coughs> adding longs and let's see what they did today atul bhai mere ipo ipo mat lo matlab sorry i'm not giving advice but uh jayesh is asking did i push him break even no jayesh sadly my position did not break even it's far from break even uh, but i'm adding next years uh, and adding some uh, short calls so short calls are easier to break even than long puts of course so i'm hopefully something will happen if i sold 400 crores futures today if i sold 1700 crores in cash verdict um nifty struggling to go up if tomorrow is weak expect more selling and i have no absolutely no change in uh, view i'm happy to sit on long term uh, <coughs> calls so i'll tell you something which is really bothering me right as in bothering me not because i'm a short bothering me about the markets as a whole see the truth is snp has been consistently giving us gains for the last few sessions right but nifty has not really shown strength when snp has been showing strength my worry is what if snp starts showing weakness then we might actually see nifty um uh, showing quite a bit quite a bit of weakness so i am a little worried about uh snp uh simply because if it starts going down then nifty will tremendously um follow and it will all thoda go toasted another thing which is worrying me of course is tlt is picking up so yesterday you were saying right this trend line and there's a possibility tlt can bounce from there tlt is up 1% see a bond going up 1% is not like a stock going up 1% a stock going up 1% is nothing but a bond 20 year bond index going up has a lot of meaning so please observe this because it potentially says there are there's something going on india government bond again today bearish engulfing candle on yields which probably means we are going to see more downside now i don't know for what rhyme or reason india bonds will strengthen but if you look at the chart it looks like it might strengthen mm. another thing which we have been observing but we also have been kind of getting right is crude oil took huge rejection from this trend line and it is plummeting right today it's down around 3% which is see crude falling only has one meaning it is the slow down of demand and that's not good for like crude falling is one of the leading indicators of um, manufacturing going down consumption going down possibly economy slowing down etc so crypto is up like we talked about yesterday but then it's okay it's an indicator of liquidity and maybe they are pump, starting to pump in liquidity but largely um this is a time when i am not at all happy trying to play the last few uh, i mean no, i'm not trying happy playing long on nifty at all uh, i'll definitely not try to build a stock portfolio invest in ipo you know enter any new stocks now because see yeah thoda it is i mean if let's get real right thoda all of us have to understand that uh, there is some questionable activity so i i'll just say see i mean look at bajaj housing finance right um, this was the recent ipo right yaar come on dude like seriously like it listed at 150 it went to almost 190 and it now is at 
nobody else thinking this is a pump and dump or is it just me thinking this is a pump and dump let's look at another uh, recent uh, ipo which is ola electric right the stock listed at around 73 right within 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 seven sessions it was um, up to 150 plus which is basically doubled so there's a stock which is newly listing doubles in seven sessions and then halves in the next you know few sessions right like i, I don't think this is more than 30 sessions right this is what september august and today we are in september october two months so stock list doubles in seven days halves in two months nobody is bothered or am i like the only person thinking there's something very wrong happening in and similarly look at paytm ipo right uh see this jesus christ i mean I, i don't know what is even happening here but look this was paytm right this was paytm my god so this was paytm listed at 2000 in 1 2 3 4 5 5 months it went all the way to 500 which is one fourth the price uske baad thoda pump hua then thoda dump hua then thoda pump hua thoda dump hua like what is this dude like i'm amazed that nobody is see after seeing all this if you still want to um yeah alil khan uh, i fully 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 resonate with your uh, so yeah i i am thoda you know there there's something wrong right this this something very very wrong i would urge you strongly to go back to 2000 so the thing is this right a lot of my commentary my memories my interpretation of the world is kind of biased by 2008 because the first thing i saw in my life uh, just out of college uh, when i joined work was 2008 right the first thing my memories are vivid with gp report is saying nika let's look at nika right just just because let's see how nika yaar come on seriously like after seeing this we are still talking ipos like at some point we have to be thoda you know <clears throat> um <laughs> yeah please don't invest in ipos i don't like peak bull market ipos i think are just you know and see okay so let me put it this way right um there is a big ipo coming somebody i know asked me to take some mal from him in that ipo right well meaning guy good friend we have been friends for a long time and uh, um he told me ki yaar 20 30% to milega i am really 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 scared of a world in which person a can tell person b ki 20 30% milega on something right because dude the only thing i can tell you 20 30% milega is if you put a money in an fd for four and a half years pakka 30 percent milega aapko if it's under 5 lakh right because uh because you you get the meta <coughs> the, nothing else explains or let's let's strong tumor says klr is no more like it how it used to be earlier please tell me what is more on this i'm very happy to listen to comments and uh Uh, try to bring it back to what it used to be if it was better that is right uh, let's let's look at one more uh, ipo uh, what was the other ipo zomato i think did well uh, right um, lic right huh. <clears throat> lic is not bad but this is when it was ipo it tanked after that but then the market pulled it up now it's again coming down but generally right um, if you uh, came to market in 2008 all around you was just rampant scam right this included i think one of the biggest ipos at that point was reliance power and people uh, or reliance capital or something it doesn't matter if it's reliance capital or reliance power anyway both of them uh, were like <laughs> i mean this is this is reliance capital um I think this was not 2000 uh, IPO. I think it was Reliance Power, which was the 2008 IPO. Um, Reliance Power, and yeah, this is 2008, right? This was listed in somewhere around 2008 Feb March. 
people were borrowing money to invest money in that and you can see what ha has happened right the, it's 90% value erosion 99% value erosion probably by 2020 but now it has sort of recovered uh, made 5x but still adjusted for time value of money this is ridiculous so yeah it doesn't make sense right if it's peak bull market ipos i would stay away from it i'll never touch it so i'm not very keen on doing this um, so yeah um suzlon was another one right suzlon was uh 2009 it was a massive dump of suzlon which we saw but anyway see the point is i really think i i so what i think doesn't really matter but uh, if you look at long term trends this graph especially is very very alarming uh, the same graph is uh, kind of there on spx but SP spx seems to be uh, ducking the you know uh, it seemed to have broken out of this thing but if it's a false breakout there's trouble in spx too but if the music is going to stop the correction is going to be tremendous i wouldn't want anybody to get into that see the thing is this is not one of those permanent perma bear stories uh, we if you have been watching klr some long enough i think 16700 pay there were very few people who were long we were one of the very few people who were long at 16700 we rode it all the way to 22000 without questioning it ever 23200 pay we said ki boss bhaiya nikal lo and we have been wrong for like some 2000 points it's okay you can't capture the entire rally right even i was mentally prepared for not capturing the last leg of the rally but if this corrects right this will not be a simple correction it can be tremendous for all you know this can i don't want to say it because then people will say i'm the father of some nifty 10000 gang or whatever right so so I, it just makes sense to not you know really uh, get into this so see the thing is this right akad bakad is asking hyundai take or award see it's not about hyundai i think the market as a whole is in a frenzy and probably we should not um <clears throat> uh, you know get into this stuff so that is my take anyway so this is our analysis for today the view hasn't changed uh, long term bearish medium term bearish short term kya pata not interested in trading but i think we are looking for some real pain in the next few months to come right